Let's look at the question here. So what does the first question say? A contractor undertook to finish a certain work in 124 days and employed 120 men. After 64 days, he found that he had already done two-thirds of the work. How many men can be discharged now so that the work may finish in time? Given options are 40, 50, 48 and 56. Now what do you understand? There is a contractor who has estimated that he can finish a certain work in 124 days. And for that he has employed 120 men. Right? So he has you know, estimated that 124 days are required to complete a certain work. Right? And for that purpose he has employed 120 men. Now what happened? After 64 days, he found that already two-thirds of the work has been done. Now if you look at the number of days, total number of days, 124. 64 is approximately half of 124, right? Half of 124 is 62. So very close to 64. So in about 64 days, only half of the work should have got over. Only 50% of the work should have been done. But here what did he see? Already two-thirds of the work is done. Which means the workers are, or the employed men are working at a faster rate. Are able to follow, right? Instead of doing 50%, they have already finished two-thirds. Two-thirds which is 66.66 percentage. So what does it mean? The number of days required will not be as much as 124, right? They can finish the work faster. So the question says, how many men can be discharged now so that the work may finish in time? So instead of finishing the work faster, he says, how many men can be discharged? Now if the workforce is reduced, the number of days required will be increasing, right? So how many men can be discharged so that the work may finish in time? Now what does it mean by in time? The work should be finished in 124 days because he has estimated that he can finish in 124. And like I said, the same question can be asked in another period, right? There what happens? You know, after 64 days, he found that only one-fourth of the work was done. Let's assume. After 64 days, one-fourth of the work was done. So what does it mean? The workers are working very slow, right? One-fourth of the work has been done in more than half of the days, which means they will not be able to meet the deadline of 124 days. So in that case, the question says, like, in, after 64 days, he found that only one-fourth of the work was done. So how many more men must be employed? Now what happens? If the work rate is really slow, he has to employ more men. So how many more men must be employed so that he can finish the work in time? So both are similar cases, right? One is that in one case you are finishing the work faster so you can discharge some men. In the other case you are finishing the work uh, slower so you need to employ more men. Both the questions have to be answered using the same approach which is as follows. See, total number of days required is 124. Total number of men employed is 120. We know that W1 by W2 is equal to m1 d1 by m2 d2 the first uh, model from time and work that we have discussed right the work ratio is proportional to the men into days ratio right work is always proportional to the product of men and the number of days for which they work right so w1 by w2 work done in first case by work done in second case is equal to m1 d1 by m2 d2 where m denotes the number of men d is the number of days let's use this so what happened how much of the work has been finished two thirds of the work is finished Right? So I can say W1 is two-thirds of total work. Let us assume that total work is W. So they have finished two-thirds of the total work. Divided by, what is remaining work? Let's say W2 is the remaining work. If two-third is finished, how much is the remaining? One-third is remaining. So W2 is one-third of the total work, which is equal to M1 D1 by M2 D2. Now what is M1? See, how many men have finished two-thirds of the work? 120 men. They have finished this in how many days? Don't say 124 days. They have finished two-thirds of the work in 64 days. Yes or no? So 120 men have finished two-thirds of the work in 64 days. Are you able to follow? Divided by how many men will be required to finish one-third of the work? Let us assume the number of men required is n. Forget about how many should be discharged and all that. Let us find out how many men will be required to finish one-third of the work, the remaining work. In how many days? See, already 64 days have passed. Out of 124 days, already 64 days have passed. So what is remaining now? 60 days. That's it. Simplify this, get the value of n. That will show you the number of men required to finish remaining one third of the work in remaining six days. Are able to follow? We are finishing this total work into two parts. So first two thirds was finished by 120 men in 64 days. Now how many men will be required to finish the remaining work which is one third in 60 days. Why do we take 60? Because already 64 days are over. Out of 124, 60 days are over. 64 are over. So 60 days are remaining. Simplify this. What happens? See, this gets cancelled. W total work gets cancelled, denominator 3 gets cancelled. Can we simplify something here? Yes, 60 goes 2 times and this 2 and 2 also gets cancelled. So what do we get? From this we get M is equal to 64. 64 men. The number of men required is 64. The number of men required is 64 to finish 
the remaining one third of the work in the remaining 60 days. Now what does the question say here? How many men can be discharged? See, I know that I can finish this work now, now with the help of 64 men. I have employed how many men here? 120 men. Yes or no? My total strength is 120. But actual requirement is only one, uh, 64 men. So how many can be discharged? 120 minus 64. Those men can be discharged. Those many men can be discharged. So the answer for this question has to be the number of men to be discharged will be equal to 120 minus 64 which is 56. That's it. 56 which is option. So good to see that most of you have got the right answer. Right? Likewise in the other case, how many more men have to be employed so that the work can be finished in time? What do we do? Same concept. Find out the number of men required. In that case, more number of men will come into picture. For example, 180 men. M will be equal to 180. Now we already have 120 men. How many more should be employed? 16 more should be employed. 120 plus 60 should give you 180. Right? 64. 120 minus 64 gives 56. So 56 men here can be discharged or can be removed from this group to finish the working time. So the answer here is option D, 56.